I'm Anil Kumar and here is another practice question for you to write domain range of one cycle of the following function. So we have a sine function and a cosine function here. You need to pause the video, write down the answer and then look into my suggestion. So let's begin with the very first one which is y equals to sine of half x. Now for this function what is the domain and what is the range. So let's begin by graphing this function. So let us sketch a graph of this function sine half x could be graphed like this where the amplitude of the function is going to be 1 so the maximum is 1 minimum is minus 1 as far as the time period is concerned time period t will be equals to 2 pi divided by half which is 4 pi correct so we could write this point as 4 pi those of you who are doing in degrees they could write this as 360 degrees divided by half which gives us 720 degrees correct so one full cycle is completed in 720 degrees therefore domain of one cycle remember one cycle will be from 0 to 720 degrees that is 0 right so we can write domain for this function as equals to from 0 to 720 degrees as far as the range is concerned as you can clearly see it is from minus 1 to plus 1 both included so that is how this question should be answered the next question here is y equals to minus 4 cos 2 over 3x now let us sketch this function also cos function starts with maximum but here it is minus so it will start from the minimum right so we have a function which is kind of like this so that is one cycle it repeats thereafter now in this particular cycle what is the maximum and minimum value it is 4 right so 4 is maximum minus 4 is the minimum value this time period will be starting from 0 to let's calculate t equals to 2 pi divided by 2 over 3 right 2 over 3 that is equals to 3 pi so 3 pi is the time period correct so in degrees if you do in degrees it will be time period will be 360 degrees divided by 2 over 3 correct so which is going to be you do half of this which is 180 180 times 3 right so it is 3 times 180 degrees correct so which is 540 correct so 540 degrees is the time period for this particular cosine function therefore we can write domain for the function as so I'm changing the format we say x belongs to real numbers where x is from 0 to 540 degrees right and the range y of the function will be y belongs to real numbers where y is from minus 4 to plus 4 correct so that is how you can get domain and range for such functions i hope that helps please follow the links to get some more practice questions thank you and all the best